All right, today we're showcasing some amazing modular buildings designed by the most talented fan designers in series two of LEGO's Brickling program. I went through all 190 sets and pulled out the best ones, and believe me, there were a ton of modular buildings. We'll be rating each set a bronze, silver, or gold, and you also get a chance to vote. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Okay, I have to say the first set is absolutely buzzing with character. It's a cafe that doubles as a student housing, complete with a laboratory and an observatory. There's a lot to dig in here. The logo for the coffee shop is the first thing that caught my eye. It's 3D and very unique. But what truly breathes life into the scene is the wonderful cast of minifigures that are included. You have everything from painters to actors, poets and gamers, and even a street artist. The cafe has a lot of cool details. It has everything that a hangout spot would need and then some. There's even a stage for slam poetry. So the energy in this cafe is really dynamic. All right, moving on up, the lab on the next floor is really creative. It's filled with an array of art projects. There's a lot of sculptures, there's paintings, there's a scooter that's been turned into a table. There's just a lot of things here that really breathe to life this creative atmosphere. And up next we have the dormitory and the design here is what you would see in a real dorm. It just makes the most out of this limited space. So you see a pair of bunk beds, there's an area to eat your food. On the other side, we have an aquarium. There's a spot to game as well. So it really makes use of this space and it really captures the student life. And then let's not forget the exterior is just as colorful and lively as the interior, adding overall atmosphere to the set. So with all things considered, this set is a home run. I mean, it's just full of energy and creativity. It really captures that student life at an art school and it's just jam packed with details. And I think that this deserves nothing less than a gold brick. So hats off to the designer for creating such an immersive, engaging set. This would fit in so well with other modular buildings. All right, next up is a really cool post office set and it uses an eye-catching neoclassical style, which means that it's reviving a bygone era. And right out of the gate, we're greeted by a lively cast of minifigures that fit in really well with this aesthetic. So I think that the exterior design really is eye-catching. The golden pillars are amazing. I love the ornate designs that are above it. And these pinstripe awnings just really contrast very well with the other colors chosen. And I love that it matches the mail truck that's over on the side. This really just has a lot of charm to it. Now, with that being said, it would be cool to see some more variation on the side of the building here, maybe up on the roof. Uh, could be like a, another accent color, maybe a different brick formation as well. So a little more variety, I think, would be awesome. I, I can't quite put my finger on it. Now, what really stands out with this set is the well-designed interior. The first floor houses the post office and check out these details. It has a dedicated customer service area. There's PO boxes over on the side and there's even an old style elevator. And if you look closely, it even looks like there's a wraparound staircase around that elevator in case it's out of service. Oh, and we need to point out the slippery when wet sign over here. It looks like it was just mopped. I think the designer had a lot of fun with this floor, but they also kept that classic look to it as well. Okay, on the second floor, we have a postal museum, which is a really cool Cool concept. The designer added some really nice vintage male display cases and I love this old-fashioned buggy that's on the side over here. I would love to see a bit more detailing on the flooring that matches the fidelity on the first floor. It's really set a high bar on that and it would have been really cool to see that continued up to floor number two. All right, now when we move up to the top floor, we have the mail sorting center, and this is really cool. I think this is a Lego first, I could be mistaken, but I think this looks awesome. And I'm really taken aback by the detail of the functioning conveyor belt, the, the neatly organized mail sorting system, and there's even a cart that's ready to push all the cargo into the elevator. The innovative approach here is really great stuff. And this whole building is outfitted with skylights and solar panels, which is a great blend of classic and modern design. I'm really glad that some additional thought went into the design of the roof of this building. So all in all, this set has some really outstanding ideas with some great execution in places. It might benefit from a little polish here and there, but overall it holds up really well. And this set gets a silver brick and would be really cool to pick up. Every city needs a post office after all. Okay, cool. Next up, we have a set that stands out in the line of modular buildings due to its unique industrial design. So this is Brick Labs and 
Since it's a lab, I think that the industrial design really makes sense for an, a building like this. They managed to incorporate uh, some foliage in the front as well that, that really complements this design. And taking a closer look at the building, we have two really spacious floors from from top to bottom and i think it gives it like this grandiose feel which is always a nice touch in modular design and turning the building around it's visually quite impressive this is how i would picture the back of an industrial lab to look like and i really like the tanks that are back here once again this really adds to this scientific feel but it's not just the exterior where this model truly shines once you go on the inside you'll see an array of lab stations and it looks like that they're ready for scientific research you have computers, there's an array of items on the shelves, and there's even a periodic table hanging up on the wall. And the designer mentioned that there's also a stock room, there's a loading dock, there's even a working elevator for the scientists to move around really efficiently in this lab. The second floor has an emergency escape. Uh, there's just a lot of crazy detail in the set. And the roof is a really intriguing aspect in this design. It keeps in line with that industrial feeling, sporting a lot of ductwork, and there's even a New York style water tank up here, which is a great addition that really complements this theme very beautifully. And of course, we have a really cool cast of minifigures that once again will bring this set to life. So with all these features and the unique design, this set gets a silver brick. The industrial design might not be for everybody, but it stands out on its own. If you have an industrial area in your city, I think this would be awesome. Okay, so let's switch gears now to something that's quite unique. At least I've never seen something like this before. It's designed to be a park that would fit between two modular buildings. So there's a ton of details that give this park a lot of character. You can start a pickup game of basketball, there's a ping pong table, a picnic table in the corner, a fountain in the middle, there's a pond, and there's even a trash can that's knocked over by a seagull, which you would totally see in a city. So this just looks awesome. In terms of the foliage, I really love the flowers that were chosen by the designer along with these types of trees. They're very contrasting, adds a lot of depth to the set. You have a bush in the background as well. Excellent job to bring a lot of that variety into the set. And one thing that I love about this set is how it would seamlessly fit between two buildings. It, it wouldn't feel out of place whatsoever, and I think that it would just blend in perfectly in a modular city. So with that being said, I'm giving this set a silver brick. It's small but mighty, and it would be cool to add to any city. All right, next up we have an impressive trio packed together. We have a vintage hardware store, a real estate office, and a unique fixer upper apartment. And just check out the outside of this building. There's so much going on here. I love that there is this plumbing supplies sign. It's very, very unique. There's some minifigures bringing a couch up the stairs alongside some moving boxes. All the signage in front of the building looks incredible, and there's even a lemonade stand just kind of hanging out right in front of the hardware store. Okay, starting at the top floor, we have the Fixer Upper Apartment, and look at all the details that are in here. You have burnt out light bulbs, there's a leaking pipe, there's cracks running down the walls, there's broken windows, and these might be issues in a real apartment, but here, they show the designer's phenomenal attention to detail and creativity. And check this out, you can actually fix this stuff. The designer added instructions and pieces to renovate the fixer upper. I wish we had a picture of it, but the second floor has a real estate office, which is clever to be included with a hardware store and an apartment. I'm sure that was done by design. And on the main floor, we have the vintage hardware store. And just check this out. There is so much, this is a blast from the past. There's so much going on here. If you look around, you have just a bunch of merchandise strewn about that's exactly what it would have been like in an old hardware store there's a sign that says no checks which is 100 percent accurate there's even an old rotary phone that's just kind of hanging up by the register as well the level of detail and authenticity is just off the charts and i really like the cast of minifigures that were included as well it just all fits together they all have their own personality this is pretty awesome so looking at the set, it's, it's just nothing short of spectacular. I love everything that I see here. It would fit in perfectly well with other modular buildings. There's so much life and character to it. This easily earns a gold brick, and it's something that I think a lot of people would love to have in their collection. And if you like these buildings, just wait until you see the ones in our video here. We cover even more buildings from the BrickLink Series 2 program. There's a lot of amazing ones in there, so I will catch you there.